Hello everyone. This is Dr. Noor Nigar and today I'm going to discuss the characters in the novel Carvalho. These are the main characters. Carvalho, Mandana, Prabhakara, Cyril Gonzalez, Rami, Pyara, Kiwi, Ramya, Govindappa, Biryani Kariyappa, Yangta, and a minister who was also the chairman of the Khadi board. First, let us start with Carvalho. He's a great botanist and entomologist. An entomologist is a person who studies insects. He is also an officer at the Paddy Research Center. Now, he's around 55 years old. He has gray moustache and beards. He has aquiline nose that is a little curved, bent nose like that of a parrot. He has solemn, that serious eyes. He looks very dignified and impressive. He looks like a Christian from Mangalore. He speaks correct and formal Kannada. He commands a lot of respect in that area. And he has already submitted his doctoral dissertation to a foreign university. His salary is around 1500 per month, which is considered to be very high during that time. And he's the only gadgeted officer in the area. And hence, he was invited to chair all sorts of meetings. He was very knowledgeable when it comes to, uh, you know, knowing about insects. And his wife and daughter stayed in Bombay. He was in an, he uh, is in an expedition to find the flying lizard that Mandana had sighted in the forest. Now, Mandana. After Carvalho, Mandana is the next most important character, you know, next important character in this novel. He is a disciple of Carvalho and he works as a beekeeper at the Modigire Beekeepers Cooperative Society. But then that's not a permanent job for him. And uh, according to Carvalho, to the world, he looks like a like an idiot, like an, like uh, he, everybody thinks he's a very irresponsible uh, person. He's an idiot. But then to Carvalho, he was a born naturalist. And Mandana had excellent art of observation. He very subtly grasped whatever he sees. He is an extraordinary natural scientist. And he wants to marry a girl called, you know, marry uh, Ramya's, uh, Ramya's daughter, Rami. Finally, he succeeds to marry her as well. But in the beginning, um, uh, Rami's father was very reluctant to marry uh, Rami with him because uh, he was uh, he did not have a permanent job. He thought he was a vag. Uh, Ramya thinks that he's a vagabond who spends all his time looking for insects like beetles, insects, and lizards. And it is Mandana who supplies specimens to Carvalho. And uh, also Mandana wanted to work as a peon uh, so that he could get married because the reason he was not able to marry Rami was he was not, he did not have a permanent job. Uh, so he wanted to uh, apply for this position, but Carvalho was not, uh, you know, he did not give him this job because he believed uh, that, uh, you know, Mandana has great potential. He's a natural scientist and he's not supposed to do such mean work. But then when Carvalho came to know that uh, Mandana is in need of a job so that he could marry Carvalho, he offers him the job of a, he offers him a job. Now, he is from a place, Mandana is from a place called Norway, which is behind a mountain. It's a, a dense, uh, it's, it's a place with dense forest, heavy rain, and hence there are a lot of insects and animals in the forest, leeches, other animals. And Mandana was always fond of observing these animals and uh, these insects in the forest. Uh, it's a different thing that he is not very enthusiastic about his native place that is Norway. Mandana's mother is a widow 
and she has struggled hard to bring him bring him up but then this man mandana he roams the forest with a catapult looking for birds and insects um, so basically he is thought to be a very irresponsible man without a permanent job and a vagabond who roams around uh, aimlessly and that's the reason he was not able to uh, get married and once he fought with his people of his own tribe and he left home with the snake cowherd caste and whenever anybody asked mandana what is your caste he would call himself uh, madi uh, vokaliga uh, but then there was no caste uh, like this uh, but it was said that these people have more rituals than the brahmins and then there is a boy called uh, prabhakar prabhakar is a student of karwalo who works as a photographer enlarging slides films etc he was a radio mechanic in chikmangaluru before joining karwalo uh, and he to the narrator he appears to be an intelligent man a very patient and understanding person and uh, karwalo uh, when he submitted his doctoral dissertation to a foreign university um, prabha it was prabhakar who had helped him uh, make the photographs graphs and other things but uh, the instrument with prabhakar had was not very good and neither was prabhakar an expert in doing all these things but it was karwalo who taught him uh, you know who first got sophisticated instruments from abroad and he also taught him how to uh, you know do graphic photography different subtle aspects of his craft was taught to prabhakar by karwalo and though he could now prabhakar after learning graphic photography he could earn a lot of money in the textile industry however he wants to stay for a longer time with karwalo so that he could learn more from him so uh, you can say karwalo is a very learned man and he had a lot of knowledge about insects about photography uh, and various things and pyara is a muslim boy who works as a kitchen assistant in the author's household now this boy had been uh, put in a remand home for 6 months as he was found picking pockets at the local bus stand and after being in the prison for 6 month when he comes back you know when he is discharged and he comes back to his father abuses him and he drives him out of the house and then for some time he he just he wanders around leads a nomadic life for some time and one day he comes to the author's estate and he he starts working as a cardamom picker later after the harvest he stays with the author's family as a kitchen assistant then the do the narrator or the author had a he has a dog named kiwi and kiwi is the pet dog it's a white sap a spaniel and um, the breed and uh, the dog keeps guard of the author's house and the dog is also good at hunting and the author was really wonderstruck by his dog's intelligence and behavior before kiwi came to the author's house he thought that such strange dogs only existed in stories folk tales and in real life they cannot be an intelligent dog like his dog and the author loves the dog very dearly then rami rami is the girl who mandana wants to marry and uh, mandana was uh, infatuated uh, with rami she is the daughter of uh, ramaya and um, she did not seem to be normal that's because when her husband was arrested she you know when everybody was crying she was the one who was standing and smiling so she did she seemed to be a little abnormal mandana was also informed about it uh, but then he say he said that maybe rami was too infatuated with the mandana and that is the reason why she is behaving like this Uh, she was an epileptic and uh, she is uh, not yet all right and she has uh, you know a big bosom which actually attracted mandana to her 
so there's a person called biryani karyappa his job was to prepare biryani at marriages threat ceremonies uh, and he was short and black he said that he knew how to sing catch birds climb trees uh, and to make machans for shikar shikar is you know hunting and machans are those elevated place where the hunters go um, you know to see the animals and to take rest at night and this biryani karyappa had bow shaped leg bent legs like bananas and when mandana was asked he explained that he has uh, biryani karyappa has these uh, bent legs because he is a born climber of trees uh, because um, the author and that is sorry not the author the author carvalho and uh, prabhakar all of them went to the forest looking for the flying lizard and they wanted a person who could quickly climb the trees to catch the lizard and karyappa was the choice because he was very good at climbing and but he also had bent legs and mandana explained that he was a born climber of trees and that is why he has bent legs and then because of constant climb climbing of trees his legs have become uh, like this but he had normal legs and because of climbing trees his legs have become like this and there's one more character called yanta whom uh, they meet in the forest when they were uh, in the forest to catch uh, this uh, you know to look for this flying lizard that's when they meet uh, yanta now yangta is an excellent ski snake uh, catcher and uh, this man yangta had collected 50 kg of paddy from mandana and in exchange of a stone called uh, you know who, which one he which he called magic snake stone that he said could cure any one of poisonous uh, A, a cure one of any poisonous bite means he said that if you touch um, a person bitten by any poisonous insect that person will be cured and in in return for in exchange for that stone he took 50 kg of paddy from mandana 50 shares of you know paddy from mandana but he actually cheated mandana because one day what happened a man called uh, biduru male was bitten by a poisonous scorpion and when mandana went and touched him with the stone it did not work and mandana felt very humiliated Uh, so these are the main you know these are some of the characters in the uh, sto in the novel uh, and that's it so there is a advocate also who fights the case of uh, who fights the case of mandana and there is a minister also who um, is supposed to take the application job application of mandana and there is a govindappa excise contractor who speaks ill of uh, karwalo he is the only person in the uh, novel who speaks ill about karwalo so that's it